Okay, Frank and Sue, um, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of hammer filing. As you can see from this, uh, I've uh, inscribed a straight line along the hammer line here. And uh, that straight line there, that pencil line, is the crown of the hammers. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just quickly demonstrate to you what I have to do in order to file a set of hammers. I'm going to focus in a little bit here so you can see what my hands are doing. Now here I have a series of sandpaper strips of different grits from coarse to very very fine and the purpose of filing the hammers is to remove the rough felt from the outer layer uh, from the original pressing of these hammers and create a very smooth clean surface uh, that will be the uh, surface that will touch your strings. I'm going to start with the coarser grain and of course go on to the lighter stuff and then finally the extremely fine stuff and hopefully you'll get a picture of what my hands are doing at this time okay you're not really going to see my face as I do this I've got to prop myself up pretty high and uh, so here I am and I'm gonna hopefully make this look real easy but Trust me, it's not. It actually looks a little bit violent in terms of how I'm treating these hammers. I'm standing on a stool, of course, to do this. And as I'm filing away here, you can see the tufts of felt layer that are coming off of the hammer and uh, basically I'm ready to go to my next grit and if I the shape a little more I still have not arrived at the very crown of these hammers but I'm pretty close now with the medium grit And now I'm going to use the very fine grit to come over the top of the crown. Again, I've got some felt here. And now I'm going to use these very quick strokes. To gently coax the felt layer over the crown. And get a really good point on these hammers. Now it's easier to do this <clears throat> on these two sections of hammers, the upper capodastro sections, because they're perfectly straight when they're glued on. Uh, it's not quite as easy when you are using doing the individual angle hammers. So now I'm going to come over the back side of these hammers with the medium grit. I'm not going to need the heavy stuff, I don't think, back here. Although I might actually come to think of it. If I don't get the shape I want, In fact, I will come a little bit across with the heavy grit. That was heavy. Here's the medium again. And of course I make my way up and then I make my way down the line to attempt to 
bring some consistency to the work I'm doing on these hammers. And now, finally, the last step is the fine grit. And I'm gonna take across the back and finish up my shaping. loose felt check my shape and hopefully you can tell here uh, here's the section I have not filed where the hammer is fairly round on the surface and here it's got a little more of a point and works its way to quite a point up here and these are the surfaces that will strike your strings and of course we have also we have minimal removal of felt from the crown of the hammers preserving the height and that's very important for the geometry of your action okay that's your primer on hammer filing